we made a mistake in 2008 that we allowed political parties to dialogue on their own. And they even left the army. I believe that what we need now is an inclusive dialogue process that includes the citizenry, that includes the civil society, and that includes the army. Because the problem in this country is the army. The army is the one that moved in and took over Zanubiev. Mangwana does not belong to, to Zanubiev. Zanupiev belongs to the army because the army moved in on the 15th of on the 15th of November and we are favored by the reasons why they moved in they wrote the command the so called command element of the army moved in and they, they have signed the minutes they said we are moving in because we have realized that Zanupiev is going to lose the election so we are going to take over Zanupiev from Mugabe and those that support him so the army imposed someone who had been chased away from Zanupiev imposed him as the president and that person then called an illegitimate election so the problem that we have is a constitutional crisis that needs every one of us. I expect General Valerio Sivanda to be among us here. I expect General Chiwenga in his full military gear. Don't be fooled by uh, hearing that he's the VP. No, he's a soldier. We expect Sivusiso uh, uh, Moyo to be here in his full military gear. And we begin actually to get to hear their concerns. Why they moved in to take over ZANU-PF? Why they moved in to take over the state? Why they moved in to take over government? And until we do that, we are never going to have sustainable peace in this country. The hallmark of foolishness is doing one thing over and over again and expecting a different result. We did that in 2008, ignored the army and had political parties negotiate something that was not success, uh, sustainable. Seven or uh, uh, less than ten years down the line, the same army moved in and took over power. So we need the army, we need to dialogue with the army. Zimbabwe is actually another Sudan. The only difference is that in Sudan, citizens are on the streets. In Zimbabwe, citizens are incapacitated and they are at home.